Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and uh, do this next trader quest, but a couple things I have to update you on. So, first of all, we have a perk point. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is wear these nerdies, and then if we go here and go here, we have this effective level 10. So, now we're going to put the final point into Demolitions Expert and make sure that we wear our nerdies uh, during the Horde Night so that we can get um, maximum demolition, which basically gives us 50% 50 per, uh, 50 more damage and 50% more dismemberment chance. Uh, I got myself a nice new D-level steel sledgehammer. Uh, that came from a drop from fighting the zombies last night, and here's the footage of, of me getting that from the drop. Okay, and uh, yeah, so we got, got that's a nice upgrade that we got there. Let's see, we have here. Actually, let me go back up here for a second. I made a few more pipe bombs, or am, am making a few more pipe bombs. So between the, what's being made there, uh, the 111 I have in here, and the and the 11 here, we're gonna have approximately about 150 ish or so pipe bombs for the horde night. Uh, let's see, what else here did we do? I built this little platform here. I put the sledge turret that we found in the last episode out there on that ledge. It works pretty good. The zombies come up here. The sledge turret, uh, turret thumps them, knocks them off the ladder. Uh, or if they get caught in here, like the crawlers in particular, not the crawlers, I'm sorry, the spider hunter monkey thingy -be doodles get caught in there a lot, the sledgehammer will just sit there and wail on them. So it works out pretty good. Um, and then I also did a couple more things on the horde base. Let's go take a quick look at that before we take off. So we we'll head up here. Uh, I think I already showed this to you guys, but this is our our first fallback location. If the the first, um, so you know the horde base is going to be in that elevator shaft. If that fails, we fall back to here. And we go down inside here, and there's a whole a little chute that I made that I can drop bombs down to the zombos. And then, of course, if this fails for some reason, then we go back uh, and fight the remainder of the horde up at our little spot up there. Uh, we we covered that in a previous episode, but in case uh, you didn't see that or whatever. Okay, let's go down here, and um, I'm going to jump down to this level and down to this level. I put a little hatch here so that I can get up from down down below there if I'm you know down lower and then over here we upgraded all of our bars to steel and I also went uh, down below I made a couple buckets and filled the water back in so that's deep water again and then zombies if they fall down there have to tread water now I was over here you know when I was over here working on this I did get a little running horde come in and I was standing up here, and they didn't really seem to go inside the chute, so I don't know how well this is going to work. I kind of suspect it probably isn't going to work all that great, but, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't, and we, you know, we wash, rinse, and repeat and come up with a better solution later. The more important aspect of <clears throat> this horde setup is, you know, that I have three fallbacks. Well, I have two fallbacks. I have a total of three um, stages, I guess, if you know, if you want to call it that, that I can go to. Um, and I think we'll definitely be able to survive it. How effective we'll be in terms of killing zombies and getting XP, probably not going to be that great this first time around, but, you know, we're going to... It's my plan to stay here probably for the whole rest of the series, um, or at least for a very long time, and, you know, we can come up with better ideas and better solutions um, as time goes on. Okay, let's jump over here and cross back over. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to update you guys on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head on down and go do... Actually, I don't need, we don't need to go back to the... Well, do I need to go back to the base for anything? I don't think so. You know what, though? Let's take this gumbo stew now. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, I, I have a shepherd's pie sitting in the, the stove. Let's go grab that, too, and take it with us. Between that and the gumbo we just took, we should be doing fine on food. And um, so, yeah, I'll meet you guys over at our quest location, which is uh, way up here in the northeast, and we will do that quest. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, we are here at the quest location, 
And uh, this looks like the house that we uh, started our Alpha 20 Vanilla series in. Uh, in fact, it is the house. So, yeah, we're quite familiar with this place. All right, let's just do a little bit of quick uh, double looting here. Uh, we got a book out of there. That's great. Some planks. Just go in here real quick. Uh, nice. Repair kit and a battery. Some iron. Grab that. We won't we won't actually go in the house. Oh shit. Alright, we got a copper out here. Okay. It looks like we got the attention of Hey, where did you come from? Get out of here. Are you dead? Man, we haven't even started yet, and it's already intense. Okay. So we got rid of those assholes. Uh, let's let's go ahead and double loot in here, and then we're gonna hit the the four by, and then we'll then we'll start for realsies. Out of stamina. Okay, a little bit of steel. What's in here? Nice a gas can and a battery, and I think that's all that's in here. All right, let's just open this up real quick. And what do we get? All right. Fair enough. We'll start for realsies. Cool. That's what we want is research data. Totally need the research data. The 4x4 is yellow now. That, that is so insulting, I'm not even going to loot it. Actually, you know what, though? We could use the clay. As insulting as it is. Working stiff tool. Okay, a couple of gears. And some brass items. All right. Now, uh, I think we're going to have a Zeke in here. Mr. Soldier Zombie. And we also got that's on Badoodle's attention as well. Where are you going? Okay, we'll check that. Looks like we have a trash in here. And that's it for this room. Grab that stuff. I uh, don't think there's a Zeke in here because that goes down below. Uh, but there's going to be somebody in there probably. Yeah. Okay, that one's clear. All right, let's check out everything in here. No charges in that guy. Okay, guess that's it for the kitchen. Uh, this is a collapsing floor. Let's get our le uh, arrows. Check this and the two cabinets down here. Some mineral water, that's nice. Actually, no, that's just normal water. Okay. We gotta go down here because there's one zombie down here that we gotta kill. Oh, shit. get their attention. Okay. One thing that makes this a really good uh, starter base in vanilla is this water source down here. Now, of course, that's not going to do you any good in Undead Legacy because you can't 
draw water from from wild water sources. In fact, I don't think you can in Ravenhurst either. Now that I think about it, or you can, but it's the water's like super poisonous. Um, but in vanilla, this is a really nice starting place because of this water. So you just break out the ceiling there and put a little stairwell down there, and you got yourself some water. Uh, that's what I did anyway. Okay, so that's all we need to do down here. Hopefully that horde's not super close by. And uh, let's go upstairs now. It looks like our satchel's going to be upstairs. And I see a shoe right there. Let's clear this stuff out of here. Let's close some doors so we don't get immediately jumped. Uh, there's probably going to be... Yeah, this is the... Oh, there's two zombies in there. Okay. Shit. Well, actually, you know what? I don't want them to fall down there because we have to kill them. I was going to see if I could get them to fall down in the pit, but that doesn't really do us any good in the long run. Oh, Billy the Biker's up here. Trying to take his leg off. All right, he did. Yep, this is where we lived. We had our, our very first Alpha 20 Vanilla Series base in this attic. All right, let's grab this um, uh, clay. And I think there's actually a secret behind here now, too, now that I think about it. Secret stash. Hidden stash. Iron club. That's a nice retracting stock. Uh, stock. 541 coin, too. Yeah, that's actually a pretty nice little haul right there. I'm not going to complain about that at all. We'll take it. All right, let's see. We got a bathroom in here. We'll check this. And it looks like that's all we can do in there. Okay. Spider monkey in here. Overalls and some glue. And let's see. The satchel is actually still up higher, so I guess it's up in the attic. Billy the biker again, huh? This is a biker house. Anything behind there? Oh, yep, there sure is. Come on, Billy. Okay, we'll take that. We shall wrench the bed. Nothing there. Arlene is dead. Okay, that's where we got to go up. Let's get this bed, too. And check these guys. Okay, let's go up. Man, we got a double on that deal. Come on, dude. Come around the corner. There you go. Sounds like we got the attention of some of the outside Zeeks. Hopefully it's not it's only one or two and not like that whole entire horde that went by. Okay, let's check all these boxes. All the usual basics, but useful stuff. All right, where's that satchel at? Oh, it's in here. Okay, we got that done. Let's check the fat loots. Um, a D-level 44 pistol. Okay, that's cool. We actually had uh, found a really nice 44 uh, Cobra in, uh, I think it was the last episode. 
And I want to start using it. We, the thing is, is if we're going to use it, we need to start using it now because by the time we get to the end game, uh, I'm going to scrap that. By the time we get to the end game, if we start now, we'll be, you know, somewhat effective with it. If I wait to tell the end game, you know, then we'd have to do a respec to be any good at, with it at all. So, okay, cool. That uh, wraps up this quest. I will see you guys back at the trader for the turn in. What you got, Mang? Come speak now. You don't look so good. Man, you're giving yeah. me shit. <laughs> this stuff is so bad. It is like so bad. Okay, um, we're gonna have to put some points into into better barter or yeah, better barter I think. All right, well let's just keep working up the ladder here, and we got to get out of this tier two shit. Um, oh, if we do an old really auto, that'll reset. Yeah, that'll re it set any potential man. fuel in the place. Um, have we looked at your inventory lately? Yeah, you reset on day sixty five. Already, I've already looked at this stuff, so. Yeah, he doesn't have anything we need. All right, very cool. Um, so oh, really? Auto. Let's uh, let's see. What's what time is it? Three o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see what we can do. We might be able to get this knocked out before the horde night. Okay, let's take a look at these guys. There's a book and another book. I. I'm pretty sure I've already looted this place, actually. Well, that hasn't been looted. No, maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't. Nice. We'll take a repair kit. We'll just do the usual quick double looting on the outside here. Okay. This is just a, a clear quest. Some juice. Let's, uh, we'll check this trash, and then we'll unlock that car, and then we'll start. Rope. Really? Okay. No, let's do it for realsies. I'm pretty sure I... Well, I guess I'm not sure. Maybe we should have gone in there to look for fuel before I started it, but... We don't have a... Oh, shit, that scared me. <laughs> we don't have all day, though, so... Silent Hunter, man. Bastard. All right. Let's, uh... Let's take some of these bandages. Where are they? Oh, shit. Where are my... Here. I want you to go up here where I can find you easily. We'll save the big... The big medikit for, like... Serious emergencies. Take about three of those. Okay. Yeah, decent pick. Little salmon there. See so what we got. Yeah. Not all that great. Okay, let's go in here and clear these zombies out of here. Dude, jump. Or don't. Where'd you go? What the hell? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. What shelves in here are lootable? That's lootable. That's not... Mm, this one... None of this stuff's lootable. Man. Sucks. Nothing there, nothing there. This... This should be lootable. Well, we got three bobby pins. This is lootable. And that we've already hit. Okay, that's it for what's lootable. Here's a hidden thingamadoodle here. And this is lootable. Nice. Okay, 
It's almost. Is there a zombie right there too? There was a wall safe behind this. Oh, there is here too. All right, we're gonna need to take a whoops, a, uh, a jailbreakers for this. There was a wall safe behind our, uh, oh, really, too, where we started this series. Right there. Nice iron combat knife, but not as good as what we have. Oh, uh, come on, schematics. Okay. Uh, because time is short, I'm not going to worry about salvaging all of this stuff. However, we will definitely take two things of mineral water. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, more books. Always take books. That's good. Anybody in here? The guy's up on a roof. Here, can we get his head? <laughs> nice. And we got all of your heads. Are you dead? Oh, yeah, he's definitely dead. I uh, classify that as, as dead. Most assuredly dead. Yeah, I guess it wants us to go up on the roof next. We can take this, um, this apart later on if we want to. There's one charge of coffee in there, but you know what? Let's just keep trucking here. Okay, there was a couple zombos over here when last we came up. Got a buzzard over there. Seriously? How in the hell is that missing? There we go. For goodness sake. All right. Uh, there's going to be a zombo in there. The burning feral guy. Okay, he's dead. And I think that's it for the Zeeks up here. We got to go down that shaft. Here. Okay, so we got Skater Punk here. Check the car. None of that's lootable. Is there like really no gasoline in this place? It's a freaking auto store. Let's just open that so we can get out. Huh. Uh, maybe there is down below. I don't remember. Okay, I see. Three dots left. Yeah, let's check this. Okay, somebody woke up. Yeah, come that way. That's a good job. You guys come that way. Thank you, dumbasses. And we are done with the quest, but let's finish the looting. There was a auto parts box down here. Whoops. Okay. Grab this. All right. Here's an auto parts box. Nope. Not that. This. Passing gas. 
There we go. Uh, we already know that, so we'll take the research data, which we definitely want. Let's check this box here. Get this. And I think that takes care of all that loot. I'm starting to get just a smidge heavy here. And the fat loots. Okay, we'll check the ammo pile. Fat loots itself. Sniper volume five. Okay, controlled breathing, zooming uses 15% less stamina. Um, if we get to the end of this, we craft the ghillie suit, which I think is completely worthless in this game. I mean, it's fun, but I tested it back in Alpha 18, I think it was, and it it didn't camouflage me worth a shit. Uh, is this better than what we're wearing? No, but they're really close. I'm, I'm already wearing a B-level steel helmet. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to scrap that because I really don't care about the ghillie suit. I honestly just don't care that much for it. So, yeah. All right. Give us something good out of here, man. Uh, that's good. And that's a gyrocopter wheel. Okay. Well, I might put that to use later on. And a nice football helmet that we'll probably end up selling. Okay. I am overweight. But we don't have a lot of time left. Let's eat this, because we, we really actually could stand to. Plus, it'll give us some healing. And I'm just going to pop a steroid so we can move. We, go. we ain't got time for this, man. All right. I'll see you guys back at the trader for the turn, and then we got to ski-daddle back to the base and get ready for the horde. Welcome. All right. What you got, man? Worthless. Worthless. Freaking Worthless. All right, next job. Anything to the west? Fetching a ranch house? Sure, what the hell? We'll take it. We just got to get out. I just need... We need to get out of these tier two quests and into tier three. So things are a little less worthless, but still probably going to be worthless. That's all right. It's not really the trader rewards that matter a whole lot uh, right now. They'll matter later. But it's just getting to the higher tiers so we can get into the better POIs that I'm really the most concerned with. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. So the next episode, it'll be Horde, night 63, our first Horde in the Wasteland. I'm not too concerned about it. Like I've said already, I think we're going to be fine. Um, however, I'm not expecting our first uh, solution with that elevator shaft to be super effective. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, I mean, if enough of them fall down in there and we can blow them up and get some decent XP, it might it work better than I'm expecting to. But if it doesn't work so well, not a problem. We have two additional fallback locations, and uh, we can always try something new next time. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll see you on Horde Night 63. Bye-bye.